Hello Virgo, it's Faye and this is just a little three card spread for just as a thank you to all my subscribers who has subscribed to my channel since I started it on the 29th of October 2017 so it's been running for like 10 weeks or so, something like that, 10 11 weeks and I just want to say thank you so this is just a, I've already put up the yearly um, the yearly tarot card readings but this is a, just a wee thanks, a wee message for January, it's the 1st of January and I just thought I would get this done. I've also got <clears throat> an almanac, my voice is going, this is like the 6th or 7th, <clears throat> 7th um, reading so my voice is going a wee bit guys, just stay, bear with me. But I've got an almanac here that is going to um, give you important kind of dates uh, for January for Virgo. So bear with me, go and get a pen and write these dates down. Right, the key note for the year, knowledge is power this year, use it together with your communication skills to help you make progress in the, in, within the year. Right, January, the main trends, the main dates, the 11th and the 12th, you may be in a position of influence at work, but things go best when you cooperate with others. The 18th and the 19th, adv advantages arise in your career as you go ahead, trends, uh, trends uh, predominate. Keep abreast of news and views. On the 23rd, no sorry, the 22nd and the 23rd, trends favour your social life and also one-to-one uh, also -one relationships. So try putting work as aside if you can. Key dates, the high dates is the 5th and the 7th. A very positive influence allows you to burn the candle at both ends. Get lot, lots done and still have energy left for yourself. Uh, the low dates to watch out for is the 20th and the 21st. It says some unhelpful news might require action just when you are feeling less than dynamic. Don't put things off, but take them slowly. Right, Virgo, that is the dates for you for January. I hope you, you know, the, you wrote them down and you watch out for them. Your first card here is from the Animal Tarot cards, and you have got the Prince of Winter. Now, if this was a normal tarot deck, this would be the Knave of Swords, okay? And how it's describing this is, uh, now the Knave of Swords is an air, it's an air card. Well, very appropriate, isn't it? It's a bird flying, so air. Right, the Prince of Winter, and it says, how you are going to come across is going to be logical, truthful, curious, and oh, undiplomatic. Oh, right, okay. Maybe you're going to have to watch your words. <laughs> Maybe they're telling you, watch how you actually say things this month, then, okay, Virgo? Because Virgo people are, you're using an earth, an earth sign, okay? But this is what's came out for you. So maybe you're going, maybe you're giving you a warning to watch how you express yourself. Right, you've got the seagull. Now, the seagull is, this is an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution. If helpful information is put to you bluntly, accept the message without being bothered by the messenger. Right, okay. It would seem to me in January, you're going to have someone who's going to maybe speak to you in a manner or give you information, maybe in a manner that doesn't appeal to you. They could be quite aggressive, so they're basically telling you don't react. Just take the information for what it is. Don't bother, but with who it is, it's it's um it's handing it to you. Okay, Virgo. I think I mean Virgo people use their earth signs. They're normally quite down to earth people. I don't wouldn't imagine you would be quite you know. There's no Aries who are fiery and be, can be quite aggressive. I would imagine that earth signs are quite um, easy going people. So don't don't be don't be put off by how someone's going to speak to you. It could just be their manner. Don't take it personally. The angel message. 
that is coming through from the messages from your angels is Akasha. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. It's almost like it's saying to you, Virgo, that, that you are actually light workers. You will maybe be finding that more and more people are looking for you to give them um, guidance and you know being a shoulder to cry on people coming to you looking for you to sort out their problems and it would seem that you know this is what you're supposed to be doing you're going to actually find it quite easy at one point you may have been exhausted by this but it's almost like this is what is going, going to be happening for you Virgo he's going to be using the light worker within you you could even be thinking about becoming a counsellor um, or even working you know Working in one of these kind of was it like citizen advice bureaus, something like that. You may be you may be thinking about volunteering and something like that. Your um, angel message from uh, this is the Diana Cooper. These were I purchased these about seventeen years ago, um, and they, uh, these are lovely little affirmation cards. And you get wisdom, and it says knowledge is learnt, but wisdom is a divine prompting within you. Your angel guidance is to connect to your still, quiet centre and listen to the wisdom of your soul. Then you will take decisions and act from your own infinite self. With wisdom, life takes on a new perspective as dramas and fears become insignificant in comparison with the, mag uh, the magnificence of the overall picture. Walk your path in life as one of the wise wise ones and all will revere and respect you your affirmation I listen to my wisdom now um, I think this card this little affirmation card sums up these two because this card here I mean, it's telling you to um, basically with what you use your what your own wise inner knowledge to take whatever information is given to you and not by who is given it Okay, it's the information that is important, not how it's projected to you. And with this one here, it's definitely telling you that you are the, a wise one. People are going to be looking for you. If I go to guide them, this is your this is your time to to stand up to the plate and be a leader. Well, Virgo, I hope you like that. And um, I, again, once again, thank you for uh, your support. Thank you for subscribing. Um, and tuning in every other week when I post something up. So I hope you get something out of that. I think January is going to be a, a fabulous month for, for Virgo and I look forward to doing more um, tar tarot readings and li little messages like this throughout the year. See you again. Bye Virgo.